Aberdeen, Barnet nil, Dorking one. A wet, slippery affair. You said that the first goal would be really important. It was. How disappointed are you with that one? Look, we started the game blistering tempo, got after them. Had some glorious opportunities, and the first goal is key in any football match, you know. And um, yeah, so look, we're frustrated with the, with the defeat. You know, we've it's two games really. The last two games, we should have come up with more positive results. Um, but yeah, look, our quality in front of the goals let us down in the last two games. Let's have a little look into a bit more depth of the get into the game. We dominated the opening stages and we're pretty much all over them. It was kind of the story of the game not being able to take our chances. What do you put that down to? Quality, quality in the final tour. We walk on it, you know, um, with some glorious chances, got in some glorious areas. Like I say, they're very brave, dark, and how they play. Um, you know, at times it was sort of man for man all around the pitch, even though it was two different systems. We were brave in air approach. You've got to take our chances, and uh, goals give teams boosts. I thought we kept going, though. I never thought we didn't stop going. Our supporters got behind us. And really, I don't want to be lying on referees, but I think Aji's one of the better referees, if not the best in the division, I have to be honest. I think he's an excellent referee. I've come up through my career. He was in the National League South and stuff like that, and even the step below. Um, I've just looked back at the video. We've scored a clear goal. Um, it's an OG by their player. It's a clear goal. And we should have had two penalties. And the reason why he hasn't given the first penalty, which is Idris, where he's been clattered in the box, is because the throw-in should have been Dawkins. When I said that to the fourth, it should have been Dawkins throwing. So he's, he's evened that up. And then the second penalty is handball. It's ridiculous. It's a save, you know, where Gormos sort of dropped his shoulder. So, but look, what's the point of moaning about the referees? We can't rely on the referees. We've got to learn ourselves on our own quality. And uh, the story of the game today, just tootless in front of the goal. Is there any aspect of that Dawking performance that surprised you that you weren't necessarily expecting tonight you just have to score when you're on top that's the business you know every level you need the quality to score when you're on top even with a great chance right at the end Pritch could have had a touch and he's not crossed it properly so and that's unlike Pritch because he's good around the goals he's got a lot of quality so look it's just obviously can we say it's one of them nights of the offers are we good enough in the top end time will tell they scored from out wide uh, it came in it, it, I didn't think it took a touch on the way in. Um, is that disappointing that we weren't able to defend that properly? Should have stopped the cross, which is important, which we, we speak about all the time. Um, not got on the front hole, not squeezed the box quick enough as he's gone back on his left foot. Great delivery by the lad. And obviously it's it's gone into the far corner. There's loads of things you can pick out. You can pick, you can pick Man City out when they get beat. You can pick the bounds out of everything. At the end of the day, our players gave their all. Didn't have enough quality in the final tour. Full credit to the opposition. They kept going. And realistically, I believe we should have had two penalties, clear stonewall penalties, and we've scored a goal that was a genuine goal. And like I say, we're a referee that I think is one of the best in the division. Period. Let's look at some of the positives. You've mentioned him there, Pritchard, but Laurie Walker as well. Both of them standout names today. What did you make of both those performances? Laurie hasn't had much to do today, really. Um, that's the truth, so I don't know what game you were watching. Um, but look, at the end, look, I keep going back to it. I'll repeat it again. Final tour, when you're on top, you've got to have more quality. Full-back areas need more quality in possession. You know, got to do better, especially when I'm playing against wing-backs and 2v1s and wide areas. We've got to overload them better. Need more quality in possession. So uh, that's something we keep working on. We keep striving to work on. Can't knock our honesty, our togetherness. We kept going. Our supporters kept driving us forward. And, and any other day, realistically, if the referee and decisions are right, we at least come out with a point and not playing well. So not, not playing well. We got in some great areas. That's part of our, my job as a coach, get us in good areas. Well, they can't make them miss or score or, you know what I mean? That's down to players individually. So, um, you know, the last two games, we've had some glorious chances. We've counted 14 great chances in the last two games and, and only scored one goal. A point about Laurie was some good saves, which I'm sure you'll agree. Right, let's look forward. Uh, we've got Solihull on uh, Saturday afternoon. Day off tomorrow and then back in training. How are you hoping to prepare for that game up in Birmingham? A top team, Solihull. They'll be in the title race right till the end. They've invested... You know, they've gone and bought one of the best strikers in the division for Maidenhead and the boy Kelly and they've got Dallas. They've got a lot of good players, but look, we've got to go there and they have got weaknesses, just like we have. And they have got strengths, just like we have. So we've got to bounce back, we've got to stick together. we just got to move on to the next game and uh, it'll be a different game plan to what it was tonight. Um, so we'll all pull together, walk our socks off, we'll dissect the game, I'll watch it tonight and tomorrow. Get the clips ready for the boys Tuesday morning. Draw a line underneath tonight's game on Tuesday morning and then move on to Solihull. So, which, like I say, for me, I expect them to be in the tight race, which they were last year. Dean, as always, thank you very much.